is up my planting people my name is lithius and welcome back to roots ready i am so glad to have you here and even more excited to share an update on my ethereum magnificum cross regal this plant has been with me um for a couple of months now i'd say uh, maybe the start of the year so I think we're approaching maybe 10 months at the moment. Uh, this plant was an import from Indonesia. I will link the video of me unboxing that plant over here. And I'll also link the journey as well. I did a little bit of a series on that. Um, I then went ahead and propagated this bad boy. And I'll also give you an update on that as well. The video is also linked up here in the cards. So without any further or do let me introduce you guys to the Ethereum Magnificum Cross Regal. Take a look at that. Yeah, this is this is looking great. So a little bit of a background. This is the leaf that this plant shipped with. Um, and it was a huge and gorgeous leaf to me at the time. I was so impressed with it. It had another leaf actually, and that has since fallen off. Uh, but then the plant went ahead and only gave me this absolutely monster of a leaf right here. I haven't quite measured it, but it's definitely over 30 centimeters. I would say maybe close to maybe pushing 40 centimeters. Um, and then once I had this leaf in, I thought, you know what? This plant did come with quite a big chunk. Um, so I decided to propagate this plant um, and uh, keep the top cut in and grow it out. Uh, then the plant went ahead and gave me this leaf over here. Uh, so this is the latest leaf. It's a little bit battered and bruised um but it's a bit smaller as well i was hoping that it was gonna be bigger than the last but i did propagate it put it for a bit of stress um and it did um yeah you, you can see that in the smaller leaf over here um last month this plant actually went ahead and produced an inflorescence uh which was phenomenal i was so happy to have it um, but then it actually died off when I moved it into this grow tent over there. I'm not sure if it was the move that stressed it out a little bit, um, or if it just wasn't ready. I did try to pollinate it as well. Um, but it just, yeah, it just didn't quite make it. But nonetheless, the plant is doing great. There's signs of growth. Um, there are roots that are growing. You can see, I think the grow tent is doing an, an amazing job. You can see those roots over here, uh, trying to crawl on top of the pot. And then when I take it out <laughs> of the cash pot, have a look at this, guys. Roots galore. It's like everywhere. It's literally crawling over this pot um, all around. You can see the roots are kind of coming out of the pot as well. Um, the plant is doing great. It's doing absolutely fantastic. Um, you can see this leaf is starting to show a bit of wear and tear. Uh, it has that the bit of a browning edge. Um, but that has since stopped since I've moved it into this greenhouse as well. So that's helped the higher humidity levels. Um, but prior to that, actually, this plant was actually staying outside just in my room, just at normal room, tem uh, room temperature and room humidity. And that sort of stayed around uh, 60 to 70 percent, which is very high um, for any room. So I was lucky enough. But now that it's in this greenhouse, um, the, the, the humidity now goes up to 100% at night and during the day doesn't drop below 70%. So that's, that, that's actually fantastic. I'm hoping, my hope is that this plant goes ahead and gives me another inflorescence so that I can uh, propagate it or pollinate it rather with some Anthurium forgetii pollen. Can you imagine, guys? Can you imagine having this these striking venation the, the, the lobes, I don't know what it would look like, but then more of a sort of circular, sort of bulbous uh, shaped body. I think that would look absolutely fantastic. And I can't wait for another one to emerge. I can see a little bit of swelling over here on this, on this stem right there. If that can show, the camera will pick it up. But you can kind of see that it is 
Uh, it might produce something very, very soon, and I'm very, very well, I'm, I'm certainly looking forward to it. So that's the mother plant. Um, let me introduce you guys to mother and now to baby. Look at this beauty. It is just so gorgeous. It's just the cutest thing ever. This is the 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 chunk and it has produced this leaf the only leaf that is produced for me at the moment um and it's 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 a large leaf i thought it was going to be a bit smaller but this plant hasn't let me down yet so it's a great one to have um in your collection i would say quite strong quite robust um yeah and it's just doing fantastic i can see there's another growth point uh just around here where my finger is next to that root um there we go you can kind of see that uh over here uh just over there but it hasn't pushed through just yet um my hope is that i can propagate this plant again um soon uh and activate this growth point i think at the moment all of the energy has been trying transferred to this leaf over here so but the only issue with that is that this offshoot here actually hasn't developed any roots of its own that i know of anyway let's have a quick butchers through the soil no nope, nothing at all and it hasn't produced a second leaf so i think at the moment this is sort of the the leaf that the, the chunk is using to to provide itself with some energy um, if we take this out of its pot, again, it's, it's in pond, just like the mother plant is. Um, you can't really see any roots around the pot, but trust me, there are loads of roots. I did take this up out of the pot. I can't remember why I did that, but I did take it out of the pot um, and put it back in, in the same pond. Um, I think it was springtails. I think I was trying to cut down on the number of springtails I had in here. So I took it out. I boiled the, the pond for a little bit. Um, and then I put it back in and then, yeah, so the, so before that the roots were crawling up around the pot, but I did this maybe about a month ago. So it just takes some time for the roots to reestablish themselves. But apart from that, the, the plant has been doing fantastic. It's been doing phenomenally for me. Um, I haven't seen it miss a beat at all. It's been doing absolutely great. And as I said, since it's been in this new home in its new environment it's doing even better um, and that was a quick update for you guys i will keep you updated more in the future with this plant and how it develops um soon i won't have anywhere to keep it because <laughs> i had to lose a whole shelf in this greenhouse behind me just so that this plant could fit because otherwise it, it was just too tall but very, very soon it's going to outgrow. I imagine if one more leaf and that will be it, it will be on its way out. But it's proven that it can stay in, you know, relatively low humidity, um, which is just like sort of my room temperature, humidity, um, room temperature, my room humidity. And it's been doing fine there. So I may have to take it out and just leave it, just let it roam free and wild as much as possible. But yes, guys, that is it. This is the mother and this is the baby. Thank you guys so much for watching and keep planting.